Wow, it sure is hot today. I could use a glass of water. Oh, thank you. That does not look very appetizing. There are so many human activities that can cause water to become unclean. And it's really important that we find ways to clean this water so that we can keep drinking it, but also so that everything else in the environment can use it. You wouldn't want fish swimming in really unclean water. Hi, my name is Valerie, and in this Future Energy Systems video, we are going to join Sushmita, who's going to tell us about her research on bioremediation of tailings water and teach us how to make a water filter of our own. Have fun! So, uh, my re research is basically on bioremediation of tailing ponds. Um, so, I'll just explain what remediation is and what tailing ponds are. So, remediation is nothing but uh, giving or treating uh, something in particular against environmental damage. So basically like providing a remedy. So uh, tailing ponds are nothing but uh, residue that we get from oil sand extractions. We use lots and lots of water to extract oil from underground. So uh, uh, once we get the extracted oil, it's mixed together. So we separate the oil and water. The oil is for the scent for pre-processing and the residual water is not pure. It has a little bit of traces of oil, impurities and toxic chemicals. So that's where my job comes into place. I should find a remedy for treating this water and it should be effective and uh, economical, that it should be cheap. So that's my research on. Now let's get our hands on to build our own water purifier. Let's take a look at the materials we need. Here, I have cut the pop bottle in two. The advantage of using a pop bottle is that the bottom part can be used as a beaker and the top part can be used as a funnel. Next, I have taken two types of sand, fine and coarse. I also have two sizes of gravel, small and big. I have taken few elastic and coffee filter I also have a secret ingredient which I'll talk about in a while. Now let's get started with our experiment. Today I'm going to be building two different purifiers. Let's get started with the first one. Let's wrap the nozzle with a coffee filter in the funnel and secure it with an elastic. Let's add fine sand as our first layer. Make sure one fourth of the funnel is fit. Next, let's add coarse sand as a second layer. Add small gravel as the third layer and big gravel as the fourth layer. Now, let's build the second purifier. Do you remember the secret ingredient I mentioned earlier? It's activated charcoal. It's the first layer in the second purifier. Similar to the first purifier, add the other four layers and place it over the beaker. I have two glasses of muddy water. I have two glasses of muddy water with impurities. Let's use the purifiers to filter the muddy water. Approximately, you'll be able to see the results within 30 to 45 minutes. Now, let's compare our dirty water with our filtrate. Filtrate 1 looks better than dirty water. But, filtrate 2 looks much better than filtrate 1 because of activated charcoal. Um, I would say of course it matters and that's because so if you remember we a filter looks something similar to this 
and we poured our dirty water on top and we wanted pure water from the bottom so and the dirty water had larger impurities like leaves and twigs so the larger impurities will get separated on our topmost layer which is very coarse which is big and as the layer goes down the pores the pore size between them is reducing so as finer as it gets it's going to get purer but, but let's say you have a different setup where you have dirty water from the bottom and you have a nozzle on top for pure water then your set your uh, arrangement is going to be a little bit different but since we're just using gravity there's no external pump or anything this is the best effective arrangement that we could go for for a homemade filter Uh, it will still work fine, but again, it's going to take a longer time because fine sand is, uh, it's very, uh, the pore size is very smaller. So it's super tight. So water will take extra time to pierce through it and then come up. Sure. So activated ch charcoal is a little bit different from a normal charcoal. So the process of activating is nothing but when you take a charcoal and you treat it with oxygen, which is going to open up millions of tiny pores within the carbon atoms. So it's just that when you take a sponge, can you see the pores in between them? So activated charcoal has millions of pores which is not visible through our naked eye. So uh, all these uh, impurities will get absorbed to that pores and that's why it works so good. So the porous structure of the activated charcoal makes it so effective. Thank you so much for watching Future Energy Systems video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our exciting content. Check out the links below to our website and learning page where you can find activities, learning extension, and more. You can also sign up on the website for notifications for future videos and interactive opportunities. There's so much to learn as we explore our energy future.